Hi everyone, today we're going to be discussing a very interesting data structure, which is a bit set. Before we do that, though, let's focus on sets first. So imagine that you have a set of numbers. And typically, if you want to represent a set of numbers, you can do it through a array or a list. Or we can have a data structure called a hash table or a hash set if data access times are really crucial here. But in most typical scenario, we're going to resort to an array, which will take approximately 20 bytes if the number is a integer. So not bad, right? Well, now let's imagine that we have millions of numbers in our set. Well, it quickly becomes apparent that our data structure might not fit into memory and it might not be so performant and quick if we're trying to do data access. So what's the solution here? How else can we represent a set? We can solve the problem using a data structure called a bit set. In a bit set, we represent the numbers as set bits. Such a bit set will occupy only two bytes of space instead of 20 bytes. The operation to check if a number is present within a set is very cheap on modern CPUs and it usually takes from two to three cycles per operation. Some CPUs also have special types of instructions that make the operations even faster. So there's one problem though. Let's say that we have a, the set of following numbers. So 1, 10, 120, and 999. Such a set will occupy a whooping 125 bytes of space, since we have a lot of gaps in our numbers. We can, however, compress this bit set and operate on the compressed bit set in some circumstances. One of the simple algorithms to compress a set is called a runf length encoding. In this algorithm, we shall split the entire bit set into blocks of fixed size, let's just say 7 bits for now, and the first bit will denote if we're counting the ones or zeros, and the rest of the bits will act as a counter of our run length. Let's see an example. In this example, our array is 20 bytes and our bit set is 8 bytes. So let's just use 7 bit blocks. The first block is a one run block where we have just two bits. The second block is a zero run block with 15 bits. The third block is a single bit. The fourth block is a zero run with a length of 30 bits. And the last block is a single bit. So after using this compression, we managed to compress this set from eight bytes down to five bytes. We could do slightly better by introducing a rule where a single bit blocks are removed. We can still hold that information by checking if the previous block had a maximum length. And if it didn't, then that means that our bit set run has changed. Let's go back to our original set with caps. Using run length encoding, we can go down from 120 bytes down to 22 bytes. And again, by eliminating single bit blocks, we could do slightly better. So we could probably go down to 20 bytes. Okay, so that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a like, possibly subscribe if you think that these sort of videos are better than the, my previous ones. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.